light at the end of the tunnel at last, it looks like Freedom Day really will mean Freedom Day. Face masks and so keen free holidays from as early as July the 19th. My birthday! Oh, yes, yeah, it's your yeah, birthday. It's, it's a big birthday. I know, it's a big one. <laughs> 21. 21. 21. That's the one. That's well, the one. Mustn't forget. Of course, of course, times two plus something else. But we want to know when restrictions are lifted, will you go back to the old normal? Tweet us at GB News. Uh, let's get more reaction from Matt Kilcoyne from the Adam to talk to you. Right, let's go back to the big story of the morning then. We were just uh, talking about it there with Matt as well, Freedom Day. Our Yorkshire and Humber reporter Anna Riley's live outside. Are you all right? Will I wear? Will you carry on wearing a mask after all? If it's not mandatory. Yeah. No, I will not. I can't wait to throw it away. No. I, I find it really quite um, restrictive in, in lots of ways. I actually find it, it doesn't make me, I don't know, I think... I don't know. I, do, I, do, I don't like it at all. Well, I mean, do you know? You know me, I'm quite mm. gesticulative well, and yes. I can't really do I find it very a claustrophobic. I quite actually. like it because I can swear under my breath and oh. I can see my mouth moving. So if somebody does I think, something, I'm like. <laughs> I think a lot of people have enjoyed <laughs> that. Not, They're no. like. I'm like zippy. <laughs> but the thing is, with those masks, though, I mean, how filthy is your mask? Let's be honest. <gasps> I mean, do you not wash yours regularly? No, I use the disposable ones. Oh, but I keep no, them for I wash days. mine. But I keep it for days. I'm like, and I'm, I can't be the only one. You don't wear one of those those awful. The blue ones. Do you the, ever know the, the new plastic bag? I call them. You find them everywhere. It's oh, they're everywhere. It's awful. You don't know whether the blue side is the right side or the no, white side. No, but I'm talking about right uh, litter and and. No, I don't throw them away. They're all in my bag. I've got about a hundred of them. Oh, <laughs> and what are you going to do with them? I go for the least one, the one that looks least bad. It's terrible. Really? Well, lots of people I'm do. I'm going to get you a material one. You're going to wash it well, every, I'll every wash couple that. of days. That'll be worse. But, well, we're trucking away. Couple of days. Anyway. Seriously, um, seriously. What about you? What do you do with your face mask? Are you quite hygienic? Are you a good person with it? Or are you using now? Or are you like Nana? Bag. The same mask that you've got in the bottom of your bag and you're festering around for it. That's you've shocked me. You've shocked me. She's so clean. Are you clean. sure, Kirsty? Come yeah, on. Anyway. <laughs> Never mind. Well, listen, here's what else is coming up today. The Scottish Government will not be allowed to hold a second independence referendum before 2024. In an interview with Cabinet Minister Michael Gove in the Daily Telegraph, the man who's overseeing Boris Johnson's attempt to keep Scotland in the... Disappointed, though, as many Scots and, um, you know, anyone supporting them, you know, because it's been a really hard road for them, you know? Well, it's, it's been a really hard road. Those. It's lovely to watch the football, especially if it's England, Scotland, or when France won. Right. I was working in an office with all men. They the hated it. The on it, let me they tell you, by it. the way. They hated it. I was working in an office, all men. I got France. France won. They hated it. Yeah. <laughs> it was wonderful. And what did you, what did you win? Money. Oh, money. Oh. They'd all put money in, so I, I won their money. <laughs> it was great. Oh, I, I love that. That's brilliant. <laughs> well, we're going to go and set that up after this. Yes. Right. Coming up, <laughs> we'll talk about uh, the brand new £50 note. But how many people still carry cash? Uh, and does Britain need a song to bring the four nations together? Well, one has been recorded. We'll let uh, you listen to that. But first, the weather. Mm, I'm not so sure how I feel about that. That's actually the official song for One Britain, One Nation Day this Friday. The government is encouraging schools to celebrate the day when children can learn about shared values of tolerance, kindness, pride and respect. Uh, the song was written and sung by children at St John's Primary School in Bradford. Well, I, you know, fair enough, if it's put on by the children, I have to I mean, nice. beautifully sung, kids, uh, by well the way. Done, I mean, well I done, but... Well done, um, but... Quite shocked, really. No, I'm not. I'm not. I don't. I don't want my children singing. You don't uh, think so? No. I don't mind them singing a wonderful patriotic song that talks about everyone being together and united. It's. I mean, if it is a song, I mean, it's actually better than the Eurovision song that we have. <laughs> do you remember? Do you remember that? Yeah, but our children should know that anyway. They do know that anyway. Why would they not know that? Well, I don't think there's. A, I don't think there's any harm in it, though. Uh, you know, uh, 